Today, we'll discuss times when tennis legends humiliated each other. Number 6. Stefan Kubek vs. Daniel Kullera During his time as a professional tennis player, Daniel Kullera had a reputation as a dubious person known for winding up rivals and breaking rackets. Kullera had already been suspended twice before this match for misbehaving on the court. Imagine the shock then, when they learned that Stefan Kubek was the one who grabbed their throat in 2010. That's not the whole tale, though. The incident was caught on camera because Kullera had allegedly started it and insulted Kubek after knocking his racket out of his hands. Since that game in 2010, Kullera has been punished with a fine and a two-year sentence with probation for promoting gambling on his website. He was given a lifetime ban after being found guilty of match-fixing a year later. Number 5. Chair Umpire vs. Jimmy Connors Jimmy Connors was always a colorful character throughout his playing career, but tensions were exceptionally high on the day of his 39th birthday at Flushing Meadows. The elderly Connors knew he needed things to go his way if he was to win against the young Aaron Krigstein, who was only 24 years old. The issue is that not everything went his way. In a first-set tiebreaker, the chair umpire overturned a call that arguably shouldn't have been overturned. Then it began. The five-time US Open winner Connors unleashed a barrage of vulgar insults at the umpire to express his frustration. However, it wasn't there. Connors eventually prevailed in five sets, ensuring the umpire knew his feelings towards him. Here. Number 4. Hewitt vs. Juan Ignacio Chela Leighton Hewitt had already been included as an honorable mention, and his inclusion is only attributable to a lack of supporting data or maliciousness. But this episode with Juan Ignacio Chela only proves it wasn't an isolated incident. Although Chela did the dirty work in this instance, Hewitt acted as the catalyst. Chella appeared to be becoming wary of the Australian's custom of boisterous and jubilant celebrations after scoring points throughout the Australian Open match. An otherwise pleasant but relatively quiet day at the Australian Open took a disastrous turn after sunset when Leighton Hewitt and Juan Ignacio Chella's third round match took place in Rod Laver Arena. The turning point was when Hewitt made a point of openly cheering after Chella committed an unintentional mistake. Even though that may be annoying for any player, it did not call for what happened afterward. Chella either appeared to hit Hewitt directly with his next serve, or he was very far off target. Then he started to spit at Hewitt once the game was over. Hewitt returned some harsh words, although to be fair to the Australian, he could have responded much worse in the wake of Chella's particularly uncivil behavior. Number 3. Grigor Dimitrov, Turkey 2016 on the tennis court, Grigor Dimitrov is not averse to displaying both happy and negative emotions. The Bulgarian performed one of the most impressive tennis matches ever at the 2016 Istanbul Open final. However, after shattering a total of three rackets, Dimitrov was dismissed from the match rather than producing an astounding winner. After splitting the first two sets, which were both decided on tie breaks, with his opponent Diego Schwartzman, he was highly frustrated the entire time. But then, Dimitrov committed a streak of unforced errors, and the decisive set began to slip away from him. Dimitrov chose to end the play on his terms by shattering another racket, knowing that he would incur the last code violation that would remove him from the tournament, with Schwartzman leading 5-0 in the third set and on the verge of victory. Number 2. Catherine Sebov and Alicia Parks At the Henderson Tennis Open in Las Vegas, two teenage professional tennis players started a fight off the court after a racket was tossed and a combative post-match handshake. 20-year-old Canadian Catherine Sebov defeated American Alicia Parks 18, 6-0, 7-6. 
Parks, seen below in pink shorts, was upset by the celebration after the victory and threw her racket to the ground. After that, the two met at the net for the customary handshake and display of sportsmanship, but Parks didn't like how firm it was. She then protested Sebov's confrontational handshake with her by going over to the chair umpire. Number 1. Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic However, King Nadal has also humiliated other players in the French Open, including Novak Djokovic, who received one of the most humiliating losses from Nadal in 2020, obliterating him. It's not just Federer who suffered when playing against Nadal. 606275 tennis fans couldn't believe what they were witnessing as Nadal dominated the match from beginning to end, making it appear like a contest between men and boys. It was unexpected, as most people had assumed that the Serbian had the upper hand in a no audience event. She's been unhappy about everything tonight. Number 8 Serena Williams Angelina Jankovic Let's discuss the massive fight between Serena Williams and Jelena Jankovic. One of the most well-known rivalries in women's tennis is between Serena Williams and Jelena Jankovic, the two former world number ones of WTA. The American has prevailed in 10 of the pair's 14 professional court encounters. And one of the nine athletes to challenge Serena on the WTA courts is the Serbian professional Jankovic in Dubai 2005. In addition to their intriguing confrontations, the two athletes have fought multiple times over their careers. They behaved much worse than after Jella's difficult moment. Williams referred to the argument on the court after her victory by saying, I wasn't ready. Other than Venus, I am the player who treats my teammates with the most respect. Number 7. Rafael Nadal and Burdick Heavy hands from Burdick. He could be right back. You guys know, Nadal and Burdick had a fight. The fact that Thomas Burdick and Rafael Nadal have some tennis court history added intrigue to this match even before it began. But when the umpire rendered contentious decisions, the situation erupted. It appeared that Burdick was about to lose his cool and spit the dummy out after a late overrule from the chair, but he instead chose to contest the call. The umpire decided to award Burdick the point rather than ordering a replay as Hawkeye revealed that the ball was in by a few millimeters. Not only had he stopped playing, but it also put the ball back on the court. Nadal did not appreciate this at all. If Burdick's shot was deemed non-returnable, he should have been given the point. It's challenging to assert that a ball is non-returnable when it's already been returned. No wonder he became insane. 